What's up, guys? Been a while. I was going to show you something. I'm just going down here to the creek to go fishing. This is where all that sign was back there in trapping season. Well, right here is where that set was. Now, this is just going to kind of give you an idea about how long lure and bait will last at a spot. Cow turd right there. There's a dirt hole. Something got that spoon out that my bait was on. There's also a turd right there. Now, I'm not sure how long they've been here. But I know I pulled these traps back in February. And that wasn't here. So, <clears throat> I saw, was driving by and saw that. Thought I'd show you all that. Because... I see a lot of guys always asking how long their bait and lure, how, uh, how long they should wait till they bait and lure. I don't hardly ever bait, rebait or lure, guys. When I make a catch, I'll rebait and lure it. If I've got the animal stuck there, you know. If it's on drag, I don't do nothing but set the trap back in the spot, but. <clears throat> Oh, about the only time I'll rebait and lure is if we've had like torrential rain and that dirt hole's plumb full of water after it dries out. Sometimes I'll rebait and lure it depending on what bait and lure I'm using. Now right here, this was real thick like that right there when I pulled this trap. I had a flat set. I don't know what done it, but as you can see, it looked like that. Looks like that now, right there where that spoon's laying, it was solid grass. Now, I don't know if a coyote done that or what done it, but uh, it was wanting that bait and lure I had in there to tear all this grass up like that. That's pretty crazy. Hadn't never seen anything like that before. Where they've tore all the grass up but I was just gonna share that with y'all hope everybody's having a good spring catching a bunch of fish finding them some mushrooms I know some of y'all guys probably already been after a turkey maybe y'all have got one it's gonna be I think I don't remember I think our season opens next weekend but I won't be here. I'm leaving for Louisiana this coming Wednesday. I'm headed down there for the U.S. Open bow fishing tournament. So, until next time, talk to y'all later. <clears throat> I think everybody really knows, but I know there's some guys getting into it. They may not know. Right across the creek, you can see them. Right at the end of my finger there, some beaver chewings, right there, there's some beaver chewings, it's all coming from some trees right there, and right there. Them wasn't chewed on back there in trapping season. Beaver's been really working them over. That's the kind of stuff you want to look for in beaver trapping. You find them fresh cuttings, you're going to catch beaver. But that's another thing, guys. When you're out and about fishing or hunting, turkey hunting, whatever, in the spring, don't just be set on whatever you're after take the time to look around and take things in and it'll help you in the long run come trapping season you'll remember things like that which like on the beaver they may not be there come trapping season but a lot of times they will be but that'll give you an idea where to go 
and look when it gets closer to trapping season and you're doing your scouting. I'm always, when I'm out in the woods fishing or whatever, I'm always looking for coyote sign, bobcat, beaver, whatever it might be. I'm always watching for sign. So don't just think you, just don't be looking for it come trapping season. Look for it all year round. And be constantly looking at stuff. Best teacher in the world is the animal. I mean, you just can all year long be watching and learning. And it'll help you come trapping season. See, so just like right here, guys, I just learned something. Right behind the Honda, there's a little pond. It ain't very big. But there's big caster on there and a beaver den. I had a trap sit there for about a week and a half. Never caught a beaver. Uh, you probably can't see it very good, but right through here. Beaver slide and trail. That beaver probably wasn't even in that pond when I had that set. He may have been coming to it, but he wasn't staying there, I don't guess. That den looked pretty active, but he may not have been using it. But I just found this. It's be a killer spot for some blind sets. But always learning, guys. Never know what you're going to find. Little bitty old guy's horn right there.